So I decided for 150 sub special, what what could I do while I'm sitting on top of this ladder and uh, at my old job, just sitting here? What could I do? What could I do? So I said, I'm an English major. I love writing a lot. I do it all the time. Why don't I read terrible fan fiction? And I've already done this intro before, but turns out I muted my mic earlier to record some background footage for BSP. And I, uh, I already started reading it. And I already went on a whole rant and tangent. I already had like a good bunch of demerits. So what I'm doing for fan fictions is I'll read about good halfway. I'll critique the grammar, the plot, the canon, the cringe, and writing. And what I chose today was... <laughs> it was certainly something. It was something. Oh, yeah. Get, get a good look at this. Anything you can think of. Fan fiction from fan My Immortal. Am I shooting my shot just a little too much reviewing the worst Harry Potter fan fiction? Yes, because to say that My Immortal has a plot might be something of an overstatement. From Encyclopedia, Encyclopedia Dramatica. Now, <laughs> I already went over it, but I'll read it again. I have critiqued about 5, 10, 15, 20... 21 grammatical issues. Most of it came from the author's note. Uh, two plot issues. Five canonical demerits. Four cringe. Three writing. There's special fangs. One. Get it? Because I'm gothic. Two, my, my GF. Ew, not in that way. Ew, homophobia. Uh, Raven Bloody Tears 666 for helping me with this story and spelling. You rock. Justin, you're the love of my depressing life. You rock two MCR rocks. One, clearly they fixed your spelling, but not your author's note, which says a lot about you in writing. Clearly inexperienced, fresh new to writing, probably has a huge texting life. Maybe, just by this language and whatnot. God, I feel like, I feel like old mole. Reading people stuff from old creative writing. Oh, God. I'll have to send this to him. Uh, so, clearly, I got like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. That's where all, that's where the 20 grammatical issues came from. Now we're going to read this. Hi, my name is Ebony Darkness Dementia Ravenway. <laughs> I, the first name, Ebony. Last name, Way. Middle name, any one of those things. Because if that, if Ravenway was the last name, you put a dash, because it makes those two words together. And then, oh, hey. Maybe one of these two. Or anything else. I don't know, because this person clearly doesn't understand how names work. What a middle name is. What a last name is. Or any separation of the two. It's just words together. Because it's literally... Synon these are synonyms. Two these two are synonyms for black. Dement why dementia? Oh, three, because Braven is also... Was used to describe uh, someone's black hair. Thanks, Tolkien. That's how I remember that. And I have long, ebony black hair. That's where that... Uh, hmm. It's describing the color of black. No, I'm going to count it as a demerit, because you know, if you know the color ebony, you don't need to think about what kind of hair color it is. Parentheses, you don't need this. You either make that a comma or a new sentence. But in this case, it's just comma. It's a piece. It's irrelevant information. With purple streaks and red tips that reach, it is my mid back with icy blue eyes, like limpid tears. And a lot of people tell me I look like Amy Lee. That's a canon error. Cause that's. I don't, I'm not. 
it's either canon or cringe, I don't remember, but it's also the fact you're referencing something, and we don't know what time period it is. What time period you want this taken, Harry Potter, whatever. Uh, also, author's note, insulting your audience, that's always great. Uh, I'm not related to Gerard Ray, that's cringe, uh, but I wish I was because he's major fucking hottie. I'm a vampire, but my teeth are straight and white. Okay, that doesn't make sense. Why would you? Why would your teeth be anything other than white? Are your teeth blue? Are there vampires with green teeth? Are there are there people with cyan, orange, purple teeth? What is the point of highlighting that? Also, what's the point of being a vampire if your teeth are straight? You can't get blood. That the whole point of a vampire is that they are vampiric, and their teeth are a key feature of them. I have pale white skin. You don't need the word white because we already know you're pale. I'm also a witch. The only good canon, the only consistent canon here, is that you're a witch. You go to Hogwarts in England, and you're 17. I'm a goth, in case you couldn't tell. Oh God, I forgot. It's first person narration, so there's gonna be. I'm back and forth on parentheses for first-person narration. I, I don't think it's necessary. I think you could find a better alternative, but it's whatever. And I wear mostly black. The fact that you called yourself goth, it's kind of cringy. You know what? I'm going to add you it. I don't care if I already added demerit earlier. I'm adding another demerit. Uh, I love Hot Topic. That's canon cringe. And I bought my clothes there. For example, I was wearing a black corset with matching lace around it, a black leather miniskirt, pink fishnets, and black combat boots. I was wearing black lipstick, white foundation, black eyeliner, red eyeshadow. The only good writing thing about this first sentence is that you have a consistent look. You're... <laughs> this probably was really heavily edited by their person. But you have a consistent look. You have a consistent look. It's a good description of the person. I got a visual of them. It's a gross visual of them, but it's a visual. Especially for a character that has no movie or any sort of images introducing them. I'm not saying that this is good. I'm saying it's de decent. I was walking outside how it works. It was snowing and raining, so there was no sun. I don't know how. It was snowing and raining, so it's really cloudy. So it's snowing and raining. I mean, but he can do that with the sun out. You could say you could have said that there were cloud. It was very cloudy and you couldn't see the sun. But this is just saying there wasn't sun because these two things were happening. That's not how. I don't know why the sentence bothers me so much. It's not even the full sentence, which I was happy about. Okay, whatever you vampiric. <laughs> A lot of. Oh, God, preps. Yeah, cringe. Stared at me, I put my middle finger at them. Aha! Aha, take this, people who I slightly disagree with. Fuck you! You know, er, in my earlier attempt at recording, before I realized I was uh, muted, the 12 minutes I spent, uh, <laughs> I said, oh, no, I'm not going to voice act this. Oh, but I am. And it's not going to be good voice acting. Hi, Abaday! Shouted a voice. I looked up. It was Draco Malfoy. Oh, God. It's plot convenience that I'm friends with this person. Who's really important. What's up, Draco? I asked. Nothing. He said shyly. That should be a comma. Also, this first sentence is a fucking nightmare. You got a comma there and then just break it up. Don't make it one giant sentence. Uh, But then I heard my friends call me and I had to go away. Also, that's not a chapter. This is... This, this is it even page. That's literally saying, hey, here's my idea for a character and an interaction. All right, cool. Do you have anything else? Nope. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. And it's literally self... I, this, is, this is a self-insert. This is a self-insert. I don't know why. I don't know why it suddenly occurred to me. But this is a self-insert. It makes sense. It follows everything about a self-insert. 
from what I have researched, as you can clearly tell about the author and her editor, this is the self-insert. Her editor has a self-insert. She's a character called uh, Willow. But, uh, yeah, from reading the basic background, this is a self-insert. That's not the author, that's just a model. Is it good? It's nothing! It's nothing! Please tell me. It's nothing. We have no plot. We have no care to want to see it. We have no... There's no interest besides... Oh yeah, you have this gothic, vampiric, strange-ass character. Self-insert. I'm gonna... I'm pointing at my computer screen violently with this pen. <sighs> okay. Here we go. <laughs> chapter 2, and I'm reading to chapter 9. Unless I feel otherwise. Author's note. I, I don't know why I keep putting away. Fangs to... <laughs> to bloody tears. For... Helping... <laughs> me with the chapter... By the way, oh yeah, I'm, I'm not sure if I say this or I'm marking a uh, text language. By the way, preps stop. Well, uh, not stop. F flaming. I don't understand that, but I'm still marking it. My story, okay. Alright. Uh, the next day I woke up in my bedroom. I, I, is, is waking up in, outside of your bedroom? What is the, okay, what is the point of the sentence? Next day I woke up. You could have literally removed in my bedroom, and you could have... Next day I woke up, and it was snowing and raining again. You could have literally combined these two sentences. This is redundant. Unless you wake up nowhere, not in your bedroom all the time. No point in pointing it out. Okay. God, I am... I've never realized how much of a... I'm a critic because I'm trying to help people. I'm trying to help people point out... Reading bad things, telling you, hey, here's what you did right, here's what you did wrong. But I started off with some of the worst pile of garbage I've ever seen. <laughs> it was snowing and raining again. I opened the... Should I... I... I feel like I should read it, then go after it. No, fuck it. I opened the door of my coffin and drank some blood from a bottle I had. As vampires do. My coffin was... <laughs> Reusage Black Ebony. There are synonyms for a reason. Also, these are two of the same words. You don't need both of them. And inside was a hot pink velvet. And inside it was hot pink velvet with black lace on the ends. I got out. I got out of it. You don't need my coffin. So we already know what you're talking about. And took my giant. Oh, God. MCR. Also, that's two canon things I'm marking down. And MCR. Oh, yeah two writing things uh my giant mcr t-shirt which i use for pajamas instead oh <laughs> i so fun fact the brain will sometimes automatically correct things i missed i missed that took off where is it there it is took off my giant mcr t-shirt which i use for pajamas instead why are you saying instead? Are you still in your PJs? <laughs> Whatever. You can say then instead of instead, because instead of meaning, oh, instead of this for pajamas, I'm wearing this and, you know. Uh, I put on a... I feel like I should start making a counter for how many times they reuse the word black. I put on a black leather dress with a pentagram necklace. Whatever. Uh, combat boots and... Black fishnets on. I put on four pairs of earrings in my pierced ears and put my hair in a kind of messy bun. Anyways, after that minor inconvenience, uh, uh, where were we? Uh, dress pentagram, black combat. Yeah, uh, that description. Put on four pairs of earrings on her pierced ears. Well, if you're putting on earrings, your ears are already pierced. Put my hair in kind of some kind of messy bun. My friend Willow. 
I asked author's note immediately pointing out who is who 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 is uh so we're gonna make that another writing demerit uh author's note raven this is you yes C clearly tell them let me let me dance around my point some more clearly tell them hey this is you this is the character i made off of you uh woke up then and grinned at me she flipped her long waist length raven raven black i i don't think you need ravens are black so you don't need that other word uh with pink streaks and opened her forest green eyes uh she put on her oh god marilyn manson t-shirt and black mini mini fishnets and pointy high-heeled boots we put on our makeup black lipstick white foundation black eyeliner you don't need that uh oh my fucking god <laughs> oh my i saw you <laughs> okay i oh my fucking god i saw you talking to draco malfoy yesterday she said excitedly yeah so i said blushing do you like Draco? She well, this plot. This is a teen movie plot. Uh, do you like this is some middle school shit? <laughs> she asked as we went out of the Slytherin common room and into great the great hall. No, I so fucking don't. I shouted. Yeah, right. She exclaimed. Just then, Draco walked up. Hi, he said. There should be a comma before that. Hi, I replied. Flirt, flirted, flirtily. Flirtily. I'm gonna mark that as grammar, and I'm also gonna mark this thing as writing. <laughs> hi is not. Fl What's so flirtily about hi? How can you say hi flirtily? Flirtingly. That's the word they're looking for. Flirtingly. Is that even a word? <laughs> Guess what he said. Guess what? It's, it's not. That should be a question mark. He said, uh, what I asked. Well, that's actually some decent grammar there. In that one sentence. Uh, well, good <laughs> Canon? Cringe. Are having a concert in Hogsmeade, he told me. That's more grammar. Oh my fucking god. I screamed, I love GC. They are my favorite band. Besides MCR. That's two cannon points well do you want to go with me he asked i gasped <laughs> i gasped <gasps> that's where we're gonna end it oh my god <laughs> that went from like 50 to 90 really quickly <laughs> so fucking cringy <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna give it the self-insert uh given Self-insert dates main antagonist badge. Just top right. Yeah, that's it. Uh, Troopers 3 and 4. God, it's even shorter. Uh, author's note. Stop. Stop flaming the story preps, okay? Odor... Uh, otherwise... <laughs> fangs to... Uh, gothic people for the good reviews fangs again oh again raven oh yeah by the way i don't by the way i don't own this or the lyrics for good charlotte all right uh i have a Feeling it's gonna be some song lyrics. Also, uh, on the night of the concert, I put on my black lace boots with high heels. I don't need more ripped red fishnets. Then I put on a black leather mini dress with all this, with all this corset stuff on the back and front. I put on matching fishnets on my arm. I straightened my hair and made it look all spiky. I felt a little depressed then, so I slid. What? That's three fucking demerits. That's so. That's so casual. That's too casual. 
I read a depressing book while I waited for it to stop. What? Why? Why? Why any of this? Why? I painted my nails black and put on tons of black eyeliner. Put on black lipstick so I didn't put on foundation because I was pale anyway. I drank some human blood so I was... Also, where are you getting human blood? Are you killing students? Are stu students going more missing than they already are? I that That is a legitimate question. Are you killing people? Is my immortal case study the killer we never knew? But by her description, she is probably a killer. Pro probably has killed people for some ritualistic Snape wife sacrifice. I went outside. Simple sentence. Draco was waiting there in front of his flying car. He was wearing a simple plan t-shirt. They would play at the show too. Canon. Cringe. Uh, baggy black skater pants, black nails, polish, and a little eyeliner. A lot. <laughs> okay. <sighs> a lot of cool boys wear it, okay? Sure. Yeah, Draco Malfoy looks like that. Hi, Draco. I said in a depressed voice. That's contradictory. The exclamation point means you are not sad. Hi, Ebony, he said back, comma. <laughs> Hi, Ebony, comma, he said back. I'm going to start voicing it. We walked into his flying black Mercedes pants. License plate said 666. <laughs> Cannon. And flew to the place with the concert. Well, you could just say Hogsmeade because you because he had said that's where it is. That's redundant. On the way, we listened excitedly to Good Charlotte and Marilyn Manson. Canon. Cringe. Uh, we both smoked cigarettes and drugs. We, you smoked cigarettes and you smoked drugs? What kind of drugs you smoking? What kind of drugs you smoking? What kind of drugs are you smoking? Can you pass them along? When we got there, we both... Oh, wait. Hang on. Am I muted again? Now we play the game of... Oh, no, I'm not muted again. Thank God. Uh, what was it? Uh, when we got there, we both hopped out of the car. We went to the mosh pit at the front of the stage and jumped down as we listened to Good Charlotte. Uh, you're covered in cold, covered in blood, you have your... Uh, song lyrics, I'm... Blah, 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 Joel. Joel is so fucking high, I said to Draco... <laughs> Hot comma. I said to Draco, pointing to him as he sung, filling the club with his amazing voice. <laughs> Wait, so you're pointing to him... Filling the club with his mate, so he... Suddenly, Draco looks sad. Oh, no. What's wrong, Draco? What's wrong, I asked, as we moshed to the music. Then I caught on. Hey, it's okay. I don't like him better than you, I said. And that's... Plot? Writing. Cringe. Uh... Really, asked Draco sensitive sensitively, and he put his arm around me, all protective. Writing. Uh, really? Really, comma, I said. Comma. Besides, I don't even know Joe, and he's going out with Hillary fucking Duff. Canon? Uh, and I fucking hate that little bitch. <laughs> comma, I said. Exclamation point, I said disgusted. Disgustedly, thinking of her ugly blonde face. Okay, what do you got against blondes? Uh, the night went on really well, and I had a great time, so did Draco. After the concert, we drank some beer and asked Benji and Joel for their autographs and photos with them. We got GC Cannon. Uh, concert, Draco and I crawled into the May Spence, but Draco didn't go back to Earth. Instead, he go didn't go back to Hogwarts. Instead, he drove to the Forbidden Forest. Oh my god, the Forbidden Forest! Author's note, chapter 4. Also, writing, because that's not a full chapter. Uh, I... I said, stop flaming, okay? Oh, wait. Ebony's name is En... <laughs> Enby. Ebony... N not Mary... Oh, my God. 
uh, enemy not Ebony's name is Enemy, not Mary Sue, okay? Draco's so in love with her that he, that he acting different. Different's not a hard word to spell. De, de new? De, de new at Cotter before. What? Is this science? They, oh, they knew each other. Oh my God, they knew each other before. Uh, I'm glad that's clearly stated. That's plot in writing. Uh, Draco, I shouted, "What the fuck do you think you were doing?" Draco didn't answer, but he stopped the flying cart and he walked out of it. I, w I walked out of it too, curiously. What the fucking hell? I asked angrily. Ebony, he asked. What I snapped. Draco leaned in extra close and I looked into his gothic red eyes. He was wearing color contacts, which revealed so much depressing sorrow and evilness. And suddenly, I didn't feel mad anymore. And then I just sat. And then, just as suddenly as I, as, and then suddenly, just as I, what? And then, so that's oh my god. The more I think about it, the more it hurts. The more I think about it, the more it hurts. Draco kissed me passionately. Draco climbed on top of me. Oh, God. Making out uh, keenly gets the tree. Took off my top. Took off his clothes. Oh, God. Uh, oh, no. Unholy Babylonian things. And he put his... Oh, th he put his thingy into my you-know-what. Your Yahoo. We did it for the first time. Oh, oh. <laughs> I was getting to get out my kiss. <laughs> Started to kiss everyone my people. <laughs> then, what the hell are you doing, you motherfuckers? <laughs> You motherfuckers! It was Dumbledore! Bam bam bam! Plot? <laughs> Writing? Okay, I gotta go take care of this so I gotta end this one early. But I'm going to do this more. Cringe. It gets five points of cringe for this. Stay tuned next time where I <laughs> read the rest of it. I, 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 this is all I can take right now. <laughs> this is all I can take of my immortal. <laughs> Thank you for a hundred, almost 150 subs, 140, uh, 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 I know, I hear you dogs, I hear you, I'm on my way. Um, st uh, my studio. 143, thank you, 143. Thank you, thank you. And, uh, <laughs> stay tuned for more of my immortal. Bye!